Baltimore City and County Police have finally captured the khaki pants bandit. Now, the name might sound funny, but the crimes he's accused of committing are anything but that. More than 50 armed robberies. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer has been following the story today. He joins us live with the latest. Lowell. Yeah, Donna, his name is 35 year old Stanley Macklin of Baltimore, better known to investigators as the khaki pants bandit, simply because he wore khaki pants in the first several robberies as police tracked his every move. Now, uh, according to court documents, while allegedly committing these about 50 armed robberies, he was already on parole for, you guessed it, armed robbery. This guy has done this through fear, intimidation, placing lives and countless people in danger by placing a gun in their face to take their money and take the property. Baltimore Police Chief Anthony Batts is talking about 35-year-old Stanley Macklin, better known to investigators in the city and Baltimore County as the khaki pants bandit. Police say he is responsible for 50 robberies of convenience stores and marts in the city and county, which began in late October of last year. The vast majority of the time, he was very uh, quiet in his demeanor. He announced a robbery. Uh, when he was given the money, he was satisfied and he left. The bandit's robbery days came to an end, charging documents say, after Macklin robbed the Hamilton News Mart on Hartford Road back on March 7th. I mean, he had a mask when he came in, but like looking at the eyes, yeah. Owner Yash Kanani was there and says this was the second time Macklin robbed his store. The first time he didn't really, I mean, just he got all the money from the register and he told us to go and, and he left. But the second time he, he came with us in the back, I had a couple of my customers that were in here. He robbed them too. This man, who did not want his face shown, says he was hiding in the back of the store when Macklin robbed him. Put a uh, gun in my stomach and he, he wanted money from me. And uh, I gave him some money. Kanani and the charging documents say that he ran after Macklin and copied down the license plate of the car he got into. It was a rental car that police were able to trace back to Macklin. Police then set up a sting with Macklin's parole officer on March 19th, where they arrested him without incident. A major relief to convenience store owners all over the area. Thanks to Baltimore City Police and all the detectives that worked hard for catching him. Now, Macklin is facing a laundry list of charges this evening, including robbery, armed robbery, and first and second degree assault. He's currently being held without bond, and police are trying to see if they can file federal charges in this case. We're live downtown outside of Baltimore City Police Headquarters. I'm Lowell Melser, WVAL, TV 11 News. Well, thank you.